ability, for instance, to deliver a video. I saw this great video the other day. I was watching a movie. Tap the screen. A little dot popped over the, over the actor's tie. Dot popped over the actress's book. Click on that dot, and all of a sudden I can find out what book she's reading and buy it. This ability to actually create interactivity and overlay on content is unique to mobile in, in many, many different ways. You have the ability to do mobile browsing. You have the ability to do applications. And again, keep in mind when we get into the data about local relevance, each of the application platforms, the Android, the uh, iOS, uh, Blackberry, you have the Blackberry Rim, uh, Samsung Babbit, each one of them is a unique marketing medium in their own right. You need to be thinking about the unique experience, the, the, the usability and the user experience of an app Android experience and an iPhone experience, very, very different. And then if you, even within the same OS environment, the iOS on an iPhone and the iOS on an iPad, as Comfort will show us later in some of the data, very different in terms of how consumers can use and interact with these ideas. So on a global basis, you want to think about the unique aspects that every one of these eight channels provide. And then the last thing we'll talk about is this idea of the proximity channel, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, near-field communication, RFID, the idea of pro uh, the proprietary channels as well. The North American market, Best Buy is, using, uh, is specifically U.S., is using a company called Shopkick. So every time when people walk into the Best Buy store, they're actually sent a, an, um, an, a sound, an audio signal, that only the phone can hear, which then starts creating local proximity. And it's so accurate that they can know what part of the store and actually what piece of signage you're standing in front of. So you want to be thinking about these ideas when you're looking at mobile. We also need to realize that many of these devices first bring with them a lot of unique properties. So for example, um, we already talked about near-field communications and then location elements. Many of these devices have cameras. Many of these devices have touch screens. We also have a wide range of engagement possibilities with mobile, such as the fact that we can do mobile advertising. Specifically, mobile advertising is placement of your promotional message within one of the eight forms of mobile media. Very important, very important aspect of mobile app. Mobile, I can put display and reach media banners on the mobile web. I can overlay the advertising in on top of video and related content. We can insert advertising within applications, as well as links and rich media content and messages. And increasingly, too, what we're starting to see on a global basis is audio advertising, the ability to actually interject advertising with an audio feed the local proximity channels like Bluetooth, and increasingly in a greater scale of search. The idea that consumers are pulling out their phone and searching is becoming uh, an important channel. Let's think about that a little bit. So mobile is this now medium. The fact that I'm pulling out my phone. The average consumer when they're on the PC spends about a month, about 30 days conducting a, a, a query. Now I'm going to go buy a car. What am I going to do? I'm going to get them on month. I'll spend about a month until I'm done with that query session. On mobile, it's an hour. I start my query session and I'm done within an hour. In fact, Google tells us that a one in three searches is for local intent. I'm looking for a local business, I'm looking for a specific piece of content, I'm looking to uh, find what's near me, I'm looking for driving directions, etc. Mobile is also giving us this ability to do commerce. About 119 billion will be enabled in, uh, in, through mobile commerce over the next few years. But increasingly what we're starting to see as well, and there's a number of different you know, initiatives like coupons, et cetera, that can help us drive that out. And, and you know, Google just came out about three weeks ago with their mobile, their NFC Google wallet. So they actually have a wallet on the device now as well. But it's not just about commerce and transactions on the mobile device. What's really important for you to realize is that there's two approaches to mobile marketing and a direct approach. The actual engagement of the marketer through the unique media paths of mobile. But there's the other half of mobile that's even more important. And that's the marketing with mobile. The fact that I can use mobile to mobile enhance traditional media, the fact that I can use mobile, i.e., drive someone to my store, 